Hey guys, JJ here, and last year we flew out to Munich, Germany for the production of the original Resident Evil 1 live action intro scene remake with Charlie Kreslowski. Today we're going to be showcasing what we filmed along with some more behind the scenes of production. So with that being said, let's get right into it. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Opera GX. Is your PC in threat of being drained out of resources by the other hungry zombie browsers? Well, you can enhance your performance of your PC when gaming with your browser open and to get rid of lag while playing games and listening to music. Perfect for when you want to keep a bunch of tabs open and not lose them, but you don't want your browser to hurt your gaming performance. The panel lets users limit the amount of CPU or RAM they are willing to let their browser are used. But here's my favorite feature. Opera GX offers you a lot of customization. It can be overwhelming, however, with GX mods, you can now find ways to flip your entire browser 180 with one click and change pretty much anything you want. I use the Resident Evil 2 theme that allows me to convert my browser into the theme from my favorite game of all time. You get background music, keyboard sounds, sound effects for opening and closing tabs, theme and colors for your browser, mods dedicated wallpaper, and that's not all. You can enable and disable mods from the mod tab that allows you to switch to whatever theme you like best. It's easy to find mods from the GX store. Here's just some of the many different options to choose from. Lastly, switching your browser can be a pain in the ass if you have one you're already using. Thankfully, with Opera GX, you can quickly import all your settings from the previous browser to Opera GX, like browsing history, bookmarks, and cookies. It's also compatible with every Google Chrome extension. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Use my link below to download Opera GX today. Now, on with the video. Last year we flew out to Germany to meet up with Andy from Screenfire Germany, Kreshmir of Raccoon Productions, and Charlie Kreslowski, the original Chris Redfield, as he reprised his role over 25 years later to film a live action remake of the original Resident Evil 1 opening scene. Benson Mokhtar, the model for Carlos Oliveira, also joined us for the production. I got to experience Charlie Kreslowski suiting up as Chris Redfield for the first time in over 25 years. It's hard to explain how incredible of an experience it was. Due to the weather and our very busy shooting schedule, we unfortunately couldn't replicate the intro scene for scene, but the end product is still a really great homage to the original. Stay tuned after the intro as we showcase a short comedy clip that was also recorded and some more behind the scenes footage. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe for everything Resident Evil. So with that being said, here's the remake of the original Resident Evil 1 live action intro scene. Jill Valentine Barry Burton Joseph Frost Brad Vickers Stars. Albert Wesker Resident Evil Now the live action intro scene wasn't the only thing we filmed that day. We also filmed a comedy skit with Charlie and the stars team, which premiered on Screenfire Germany. Here's that clip. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh. Is this? I think I forgot something in the helicopter. Be right back. No! Don't 
don't go. While warming up in between scenes, we were hanging out in the car and we pitched a synopsis for a comedy skit to Charlie and Benson. The idea was both of them are hanging out and they start fighting over Jill Valentine. The two took the idea and improvised one of the best skits while remaining in character. True professionals, here's that clip. Completely improv. What did you call Jill? Tall glass of water. Why would you say that? she's hot and I needed something to refresh. Right. I thought it was funny. I thought we talked about this. I mean, she didn't mind. Like, wh wh why would you mind? Why do you think? You like her? <laughs> Just stay away from her, right? <sighs> Come on. We're not having this discussion. Come on. Not again. Okay. Stay away from her. <laughs> you, you sure you want to do this? All right, all right. Oh, boy. I mean, where is she? Yeah, that's my question to you. Where is she? She's having a sandwich. But you want to know why? Yeah, I would like to know why. Because she's... She's on a seafood diet. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and what is what kind of diet is that? It's like when she sees something, she eat it. I know. I know. Yeah. But um, you know, seafood diet is like supposed to be seafood, but she, jet sandwich includes meat. And That's uh, right. And you're a you're a vegan. Yeah. So what like? Just stay away from her. Well, I just want to meet her, but uh, <laughs> mind the spelling. <laughs> M-E-E-T. Yeah. Meet her. You want to meet her. To discuss. Her. What, what did you think? All right. Well, this is not over. Uh, why? <laughs> because I love her. So do I. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Mm -hmm. The boulder, uh, the, the boulder. Did you really punch it? Yeah, I was thinking of your face. Oh. Okay, I think I get the picture. <laughs> you know what? I can actually, you know, like break bricks too. All right, try a boulder. Let's try. All right, now I'm gonna pass it over to Andy from Screenfire Germany so he can give you a bit more behind the scenes. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm a video producer at Vvidia and host for Screenfire Germany. If someone would have told me 20 years ago that one day we would reshoot the Resident Evil 1 intro with the original Chris Redfield, I would have said that person must be crazy. It was an honor for me to direct it and work with Grecio and the rest of the team and especially Charlie. Our aspiration was to go in a more believable, higher quality direction, but keep a bit of trash with the classic stars uniforms, because Resident Evil, in my opinion, was always at its best when it tried to be grounded, but had a bit of cheese in it. The crew was about 15 to 20 people, and Crescio, our director of photography, decided to shoot with anamorphic lenses and a red Gemini to get a bit of a Hollywood feel. Of course, it also depends on the right lighting, but we were lucky that he had decades of experience with his production company, Raccoons Productions. Or, in other words, he just knows what to do. It was unfortunate that we couldn't film Joseph's death and the escape of the Stars team because of the rain and the lack of time, but I still think we did something really great and I'm so grateful to be able to work with so many talented people. 
All right, guys, so that's gonna be it. I really hope you enjoyed what we filmed in Germany, and I hope you enjoyed all the behind the scenes. Huge shout out to Andy, Cresho, Andrew, Charlie, Benson, and everybody involved. It was a fantastic time, and I'm very grateful to have this experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and for all the latest Resident Evil news, make sure to subscribe. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. So if you'd like to become a member and unlock access to custom badges, emojis, and exclusive live streams, click that join button down below. You can join our survival horror community on Discord, link will be down below in the description, and I have the Duke here to tell you a little about our sponsor, G Fuel. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? The Residents of Evil has expanded its services. Perhaps you're in need of a little pick-me-up. I recommend the G Fuel. You can even get a fair discount if you use the code ROE upon purchase. And as always, we thank you for your patronage, stranger. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.